Good morning, guys. So today we are here in Orlando. Sorry about the echo, but I'm in a balcony where it's very enclosed. Um, we are once again staying in the same hotel where we stayed at when I went to SeaWorld. If you guys want to check the video, I'm going to leave a little link right here where you guys can just click on it and go ahead and watch it. Now, today we're not just going to a theme park. It's actually something completely different. I have been living in Florida for most of my life and I have never ever been to a spring. There are 700 springs in Florida alone. It is the state that has the most springs in the whole entire world. So I'm shocked that I've never been to one. But I am happy to say that that's what this video is going to be about, as you can tell on my title. So I'm going to take you guys along with me and let's go. See you guys there. All right, so we just got our wristbands and it's approximately $6 per person. For a split second, I thought that we didn't have to pay anything because we literally passed through the gates. And since it's cold here in Florida, um, I didn't think we were going to have to pay, but the lady stopped us and we both paid it $6 each for adults. Now, I'm not sure if it's the same price for children, but I will try to get that information for you guys. Oh my God. <gasps> you guys, check this water out. Check out the color. If you guys haven't noticed on the quality of this video I got a brand new Sony 6100 and I got a brand new drone the mini drone so my boyfriend is actually about to fly it over the spring I'm gonna give you guys some really good um, views but I'm a little scared because we're not supposed to be flying the drone here. <laughs> but we're trying to do it as quick as we can so that you guys can uh, take a glimpse for yourself from the sky. So you can take a look at this beauty. And it's getting a little warmer, so we are going to be brave enough to go into the spring. Now, the spring is at 72 degrees all year long. Doesn't matter if it's cold, hot, like the climate does not matter, the weather does not matter. It stays at 72 all year long. So that's just a little information for you guys. Uh, what else, what else? So the Silver Glen Spring is connected to the Georgia River. And a lot of boats, come in here but there's just like a, a certain limit up, up to where they can go and 
I mean, I can't really see it from here, but I am so scared to drive, drive the drone higher because it keeps letting us know that the wind is too strong for the drone. So we're kind of scared of it losing control. Um, but realistically, this is the spring, right? And then as you go, you see where that boat is? I'm not sure if you guys can see the boat, but that continues to go left, okay? And then it goes into the Georgia River. And then out there is where all the, the boats hang out. Like it's, I believe it goes from like three feet all the way down to like 20 feet. So uh, that's where the party happens, you know, for the summer. That's where everybody's hanging out there. It looks like the regatta. It, for those of you that don't know what the regatta is, it's like, um, you know what, look it up. And it's somewhat like that but it's a spring, so they have kind of like some rules and regulations or whatnot. There's certain things that you could and can't do. It's not like the regatta. The regatta has like no rules whatsoever. It's in the middle of like the ocean. But um, yeah, so we are finishing up on the drone imaging, and then we are gonna go to the car, drop everything off, and get suited up to go into the spring. Um, it's not as cold. I mean, it feels good when it's not windy, but when that wind hits, it's like I'm freezing. So right now, I am feeling a little warmer as to when we got here. It was colder when we first got here. We got here like about maybe 30 minutes ago. So yeah, we are about to just, like I said, go back to the car and let, uh, let our stuff in the car, leave our stuff in the car, and then go into the spring. Um, another thing I wanted to let you guys know on the website it says that you can rent canoes but the lady says something about a management or I don't know what that temporarily they stopped renting the canoes so if you are coming to Silver Glen Spring anytime soon just keep that in mind at the moment they are not renting canoes okay although it does say it on the website but they are not renting canoes at the moment so um, yep I will see you guys in the water. So besides the spring, there's also a little hike trail. It is two miles long. And we just saw a sign stating that the bears are active. So hopefully, hopefully uh, we don't come across a bear because um, I don't know what the f I would do. And you guys, this is the Georgia River, okay? Look how huge this river is. Look, there's freaking boats, I'll show you guys. And this is literally a dead end, so we're gonna have to walk back. Okay. Also, you guys, this is known for, supposedly there's been alligator sightings here. So I'm a little scared. Alright, and we are here.
so yesterday we got back to the hotel and we were exhausted. We took a shower, we ate something, and then we knocked out. So I wasn't able to record the closing of this video, basically. Um, so that you guys can get an idea of where the spring is. It's more or less an hour and 17 minutes away from all the theme parks here in Orlando. Um, our hotel is located literally right across from SeaWorld. So um, just think if you're in SeaWorld, it's going to take you like an hour and 17 minutes to get to uh, the Silver Glen Spring. A little bit about this spring um, that I did mention yesterday was the fact that um, there's stingrays, there are turtles, there's blue crabs, but we didn't see none of those. Now, in regards to the manatees, the other fish, and basically everything else you saw within this video was spectacular. To be quite honest, I did not think that I was going to be able to swim with these manatees because they're not always here. And, and I mean, like, they're not always in that location. So for some reason, I thought that the manatees were going to be were going to be further out into the Georgia Lake. Um, what else can I tell you guys? So the two holes that you saw, those are two caves, okay? Now, people go in there that scuba dive. I'm not sure if it's still allowed, but at some point there was. I didn't personally see anyone yesterday scuba diving. Um, but yeah, that's something that you can do. It's a completely different world down there, under the, like in the cave. If you guys want to see more... Um, like you know more in depth about the like how the cave looks in there then there's other videos on YouTube that you can uh, take a look at that so yeah overall the experience is great there's also another spring next to the Silver Glen spring it's called Alexander spring I might be going there pretty soon because I'm like so into like seeing all sorts of springs here now I was completely unaware like I said in the in the beginning of this video that there's like 700 springs in florida so i might start doing like little episodes here and there of springs different springs in florida so right now we are getting ready to go grab something to eat and drive right back to miami it's gonna take about it's like a three hour and a half drive back to miami so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe please guys subscribe to my channel um and leave me a comment tell me what you did or didn't like about this video or if you have any other questions in regards to the silver glen um spring just comment down below all right guys i hope you guys have a great weekend and enjoy yourselves bye Let me drink you in, yeah. Cuando bailas, 